I think it's been tremendous. All the upsets have been a lot of fun to follow, a lot of fun to watch. Um, the Michigan State going down at the beginning in the first round was a shock to everyone on the biggest upsets of all time. Then Northern Iowa with their half court shot and then the Northern Iowa meltdown in the last 40 seconds being up 12. And then Syracuse getting into the final four, doing something that uh, you know no team has done because UVA was 68-0 when leading by 10 or more points at halftime. Uh, the way Syracuse came back in that second half to get themselves into the Final Four, it's been, it's been a great tournament, really exciting. I did, I did. I had Michigan State going all the way. I think I had Kentucky in the Final Four. I had Kansas in the Final Four and Oregon. That was in one of my brackets, but I, I put in a couple brackets just to hedge and uh, a couple of my other brackets are hanging in there and have a chance to win. No, I was not expecting that. Uh, they squeaked into the NCAA tournament. I think the committee got it right by putting them in, and they got a very fortunate um, road by beating Dayton, who had really struggled at the end of the year, then Middle Tennessee, a 15 seed, then Gonzaga, an 11 seed. They squeaked by them with a 9-1 run to close the game. But hey, you survive, survive in advance and move on, and then a, an epic comeback against UVA. They're playing good basketball to get to the Final Four. Carmelo Anthony is ecstatic. It's been a rough year for the Knicks, not being able to make the playoffs. Uh, they've had some ups and downs, but Carmelo's really enjoying this ride. You can see his true colors. He, he bleeds orange. He loves the Cuse. Uh, he's really excited with how they've been playing. I think he's been talking some smack with all his teammates um, because of the run they've had. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good to see uh, an, an alum getting that into it. Hmm. Bryce Johnson. I would have to say, hands down. That guy has been playing tremendous basketball. I think he has maybe 22 double-doubles on the season. He might have broken a North Carolina record. He's, uh, he's relentless on the boards. He's a great offensive player, so versatile, so tough to slow down and match up against. Very athletic, runs like a deer on the, in the fast break. So Bryce Johnson's a guy you've got to keep your eye on. I do. I really do. You, you, most of them get a free education. You get a scholarship. And, um, you know, you get a platform and an opportunity, in my case, to showcase yourself for the next level in the NBA. And if you work on your craft and you're good enough, you have an opportunity to play professional basketball in the NBA or somewhere in, you know, in the world. So I, I feel like it's a slippery slope if you start you know, singling out certain programs that are that are real revenue bringing in programs and you know then there are so many other NCAA student athletes that don't bring in as much revenue and how do you handle that? So I think the system isn't flawed. I think the system is fine the way it is. Um, it's been working for so many years. Eventually if you're good enough uh, you'll go on to you know get maybe a professional job or through your education you'll have outlets to get a great job in life and be successful in life and that's what collegiate athletics is all about. North Carolina. I think they get the job done. I think they win it this year. Sizzle chest. <laughs> Wally sizzle chest. It has happened and that was the worst. <laughs> well obviously a lot of game moments but there was one personal moment that I'll remember. It was, it was when the Timberwolves were playing in the Target Center and my wife was in the back area where we park and where the Lakers bus would park for the road game. And she was carrying in her famous Christmas cookies, which are really tasty, great sugary icing. And Kobe saw them, walked over to her, asked for a cookie, took a bite out of it and said, he, the, the, those are the best cookies he's ever tasted. So my wife will always remember that moment and I'll always remember that moment. Yeah, with Degree Deodorant, the world's first deodorant activated by movement, this year at the Final Four, they're doing a real-time fan movement study to show that every movement counts. And what that means is, using a lightwave technology wristband, they're gonna put it on the actual fans in the arena uh, to see how they react to different moments in the game, see how their body temperature changes, see how their movement changes, their blood flow changes, you know, their nervous energy when certain parts of the game come around. Um, and using analytics, they're gonna have different printouts and drawouts to figure out how to make the mess, best, most effective deodorant. You can go to uh, at, at Degree Men on Twitter to follow this study and also DegreeMotionSenseLab.com to see all the readouts from this analytical study to maximize and see why Degree is the deodorant for you when, uh, when, when movement starts to come.